Hello guys, and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode, I'm gonna solve the difference of two numbers in array riddle. So, the riddle goes like this. Uh, you're given an array of numbers and uh, another number which represents the difference of two numbers. Your goal is to find two numbers inside the array of uh, the numbers uh, whose difference is exactly the given number. So, let's see a solution for this riddle. The idea behind the solution is pretty simple. We're gonna iterate the numbers inside the array and we're gonna remember all the numbers that we, uh, that we encountered and uh, each time we encounter another number we're gonna check whether there is a complementary number which we already encountered which will give us the difference of those numbers. So let's write the code for the function. Let's create a function function and let's call it I don't know find difference and it will receive the numbers which will be a number array and the difference which will be a number okay so the numbers is uh, inside the array and the difference is the difference we need to find and we will return a topo of two numbers the first one uh, and, and the tuple will represent the difference uh, of the, uh, the numbers inside the array, sorry, uh, which means that the first number minus the second number will be the difference. So what, what we're gonna do? So we're gonna create <coughs> we're gonna create the existing numbers set, which will be a new set of numbers. Y set uh, well, sorry, number. So why are we using the set data structure? Because uh, we'll need uh, something to be uh, some data structure which will be quick to uh, access and put items inside of it. Uh, so set is actually implemented as a hash. Uh, so accessing hash is a, a big O one. So each time we need to find or save a number, it will cost us a constant time. So what will we do now? We're gonna iterate the array until the end. Okay, numbers. The numbers array until the end. Uh, and we'll have const current which will be the numbers i. Okay, so the current is the current number we're iterating. And uh, once we have the current number, we have two options, okay? So we have the option one, which is, uh, okay, let's write it down. Uh, if, uh, if we have option one minus current equal to the difference. So option one is equal to difference plus the current. Okay? Otherwise, if the current minus option one is actually equal to the difference, this means option two, this means that option two is actually current minus the difference okay <clears throat> so those are the two options of a complementary number uh, which if exists in the array we found our uh, solution so what we're gonna do is check whether those two options exist inside the existing numbers we already encountered so if the existing numbers has the option one then we need to return, remember uh, we return the numbers in the order which means the first number minus the second is equal to the difference so we return the option one and then the current okay if the existing numbers has the option two this means we need to return uh, the current and then the option two okay Otherwise, we didn't find the 
uh, options inside the existing numbers. So we need to save the current number inside the existing numbers. We need to add the current and continue iterating. If we finished the loop, the for loop till the end, this means that none of the numbers we encountered uh, can be uh, uh, differentiated uh, and will not solve uh, this issue, this problem. So we need to return uh, a null. Okay. So that's it. That's the solution. Let's just check it out. Uh, I'm gonna use Quokka. Okay, on the current file. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, run. Okay, let's make it like this. Console log the find difference of number 0, 2, 3, and 10. And let's start with the, uh, difference 0. So there are no numbers uh, which, uh, re which result in difference of 0. How about 1? Well, we can see that 3 and 2 should return. And this is ex exactly the result we get. Uh, let's see how about 2. So 2 is actually 2 and 0, and 3 should be 3 and 0, okay? Uh, how about 4? No, <clears throat> we don't have 4, let's just check it out. Yeah, we don't have 4. How about uh, 7? 8. Okay, let's start with, uh, with 7. 7 we know it should be 10 and 3. 8 should be 8 and 10. 10 and 2, sorry. Uh, and 9 we should not have, and 10 we should have because we have a 0. Okay, so it seems to work, uh, and it does work, so this is the solution. Now let's talk about the complexity of the solution. So uh, what are we doing here? We are iterating uh, the entire array of numbers once, and for each number we are doing a constant number of uh, operations, so those are very simple to see why they are constant. These, uh, they are constant because of the implementation of the set as a hash. Uh, as a hash. Okay, so because it's a hash, uh, amortized time of the hash is actually uh, big O of 1. Uh, well, it's not amortized, I'm sorry, it is uh, given a it's actually big O of 1 uh, if the hash table is big enough and it doesn't need to, uh, to grow uh, if we have too many numbers uh, and if they're uh, actually uh, not falling in the same uh, hash cells but we assume the numbers are actually uh, randomly uh, random numbers and they don't get, uh, go in, in the same hash cells inside the hash set. So this is what we are assuming. So this uh, operation and this operation is uh, constant time and also the adding of a, a number to a hash set is actually also a constant number. So for each number inside the array we're doing a constant number and we're iterating all of the numbers so the uh, complexity of the solution is big O of n and we can't do any better because we do need to iterate over all of the numbers and to check all of them. Um, so this is the time complexity. The memory complexity is actually also big O of n because uh, in the worst case we're gonna iterate over all of the uh, array and we're gonna save all of it in the inside the hash set, the existing numbers hash set. So the memory complexity is actually also big O of n. You can look at the solution and take the, the hash set, the set uh, part of the solution as a pattern. So if you're not limited with a memory, uh, think about using hash set because it is very quickly to save and access uh, already seen numbers or things uh, when you use this data structure. You can think of uh, using a hash set as indexing the uh, items you encountered. To, to really find it very quickly. You have watched an interview Riddles episode about solving the difference of two numbers in Ray Riddle. 
Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more interview riddle videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really like and click over here. If you want to watch other code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Program Artist.